Indeed, indeed. And uh, I, I remember this, and I actually went and, and found it, but uh, this is in the chapter, uh, this is uh, Self-Seeking Green Revolution is the chapter, and this is on page 41 of the PDF. Maybe it'll be right around that, uh, uh, actually, no, you guys will be looking at the PDF. I'm the only one with a copy of the book, so, <laughs> so yeah, page 41 of the PDF. Uh, quote, the total sharing community such as Robert Owen's New Harmony and other disastrous experiments with voluntary communism during the 19th century is discussed and gently but firmly rejected. There is, quote, the need for persons to individualize their interests rather than combine them. Persons who share goals can cooperate for certain specific purposes. This is voluntary association, and with it goes the right to disassociate. So I think that's really all that he really, I think that's all that he kind of mentioned, he was just, you know, kind of give, kind of writing a, a book review for the book uh, Go Ahead and Live, which I'd you know, try to get a copy of. But, uh, uh, but anyways, uh, that's pretty much all he says about it, as, as far as I understand it, Kyle. Yeah, one, one more thing I just want to kind of add on to this, just draw a finer distinction. I think the difference between a commune, which is a more of a syndicalist notion, versus uh, the mutualists with their cooperatives and so forth is that with the commune or or the or the worker co worker cooperative you know where you're living in the factory as it were at least as best as I can understand it is that it is a close togetherness type of thing where you are sharing a life like 24 hours uh, 24 seven a life with these people you know whether for good or for ill that's just what it is right it's it's a very tight almost in some ways militant in some ways that was that was the picture the mental picture that came up for me it reminded me of you know yeah. you know like uh you know like on a on like a i don't know some military submarine you're down there with like the same like 25 yeah, people for like right. a month that it's like for extended periods of time yeah right exactly and and that's that's more the syndicalist and the difference uh, between that at least that or maybe i should say it's more of a shade of gray in some sense would be with the mutualist it's more of a cooperative where so let's say you leave your uh, you leave your Vanu shelter for the day and you go to another location, which is where uh, the cooperative is, and you do your business, you're transacting, uh, at least in some sense, and then you go back to your Vanu shelter, right? So there is a degree of removal, whether that be geographic or or in some other sense, and it's more focused on uh, econo on economic activity, right? Trading and, and exactly stuff, yes. Whatever the function or whatever the function is, even if the cooperative was something like involving automobiles or or, or van dwelling and maybe repairing, like a Vanuist uh, type auto repair cooperative type thing, right? Again, it doesn't have to be in somebody's home where you have like, as you said, twenty, twenty five, thirty people living on top of each other. It could just be a common or uh, Okay, I'll go on a, on a limb here. It could be like a commonly owned or commonly used, but for Venuans only, uh, type of of Venuum, where uh, that's that's for a specific function. Again, a food co-op, automobile repair, you know, for your vans, right, and and such. Where you're basically, let me put it this way: you have your own infrastructure independent of the servile society. Mm -hmm. Maybe I think that's the distinction being drawn here and if i'm understanding this correctly and interpreting it right then yeah that is something i personally would be absolutely in favor for. definitely we we need to have a second realm i'm sorry there is no other way of getting around it we need to have the nuums we need to have our own stuff where we're not dependent on going into say a a government certified auto mechanic to basically get our emission safety inspection stickers and whatever the hell else uh, you know travel regulations from the bludgies yeah, we need our own stuff. Basically, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. So you mentioned it. I was. Uh, we're going to define this later on, but you mentioned it twice, and I want to make sure this gets this gets defined. Uh, can, can you like uh, I guess give provide a little uh, definition of set the, what the second realm is? Yeah, sure. And this is on the definitions page that uh, that I'll just momentarily pull up here uh, because it is important to define terms because that's what good philosophers and scientists do. But yeah, in, in many ways, it is very similar to a, a Venuum. So the second realm is essentially an updated version of the older anarchist uh, term, which is temporary autonomous zones, or TAZ. Essentially, the ability to conduct trade and other activities, including vices, in certain areas at particular times without uh, a threat of reprisal from the state. Uh, TAZ were originally conceived of as geographically mobile, much like Vanu shelters, Yet now it may also include cyberspace and in particular the deep web. So that's that's kind of the second realm. And all I'm saying is that the uh, if we were to have like cooperatives that were for specific functions like a food co-op, automobile repair, etc., 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 
then cumulatively that would be kind of like um, a second realm of sorts where we have our own infrastructure separate mm -hmm. from and preferably invulnerable to the state. That's that's the kind of distinction I'm trying to draw here, and it wouldn't require us to live on top of each other like we're a bunch of, like we're in a hippie commune type situation. We could have our own still our own vanu shelters and live apart from each other uh, as we see fit and all that. But then we come together for certain specific limited functions, and then we go back to our shelters again. Hey, it's Jane here, one of the hosts of the Vanu Podcast. If this excerpt intrigues you, or you think you might be interested in the subject matter, come give us a listen. We release podcasts every Tuesday, and you can find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, and Google Play. Just search for The Vonnie Podcast, and find us at VonniePodcast.com.